everybody, my name is Marco from MD Ready. Today I have a pretty interesting video for you, for you guys today. Uh, please make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. As you saw, AR9 versus AR15. Now, this came about because I had a dream about a home defense situation in which um, I used my AR9, which is my Diamondback DB9 here. And it does have a 33 round block mag in it with some hollow point plus piece, right? It's a 10 and a half inch burrow. You see, you already seen it before. I'm not gonna go through the details and I want this video to be relatively quick. But in any event, in that dream, uh, the R9 did not stop the threat immediately like I thought it would. Put a few rounds to the mass and as the threat approached, I had to end it with a headshot. I jumped up and I was like, wow, it got me thinking. Um, is nine millimeter really enough? I don't know if the threat had body armor. It was a dream, guys. I don't know if the threat had body armor on, if they want PCP, whatever it may be. So I got to thinking, would it be feasible for me to use my AR-15 pistol? Also 10 and a half inch bro, right? You guys have seen this gun before. Um, this is one of my first builds, and it's not loaded, but it's loaded, but it doesn't have one chamber, right? So this is a, a gun I typically travel with. Now, the reason I thought about it is because a lot of people say that um, 5.56 five, or 223 over penetrates. So, according to my research, uh, you guys can look it up, Google it, whatever you want to do. 5.56, um, five, five, 223 really benefits or you would be able to take full advantage of it through fragmentation. And at about 2,700 feet per second, the bullet is, is going to actually fragment. I mean, it's going to burst into a bunch of tiny little pieces, right? It's going to just go all over the place. The fragmentation is great for stopping two-legged threats, but bad for stopping four-legged animals that you want to eat. You don't want metal all over the meat. You want metal. The, you want the um, the bullet to actually mushroom and create, you know, all kind of shock inside of the body. You don't want fragments going all over the place. That's why people usually hunt with like a hollow point or a lead nose or saw point because it'll just mushroom and it'll stay together. Versus when uh, you know in war or whatever it is. The two, two, three, five, six round, it tumbles in fragments. So it creates a nasty wound cavity and metal goes, brass goes all over the place. Okay, coming back. Now, out of a 10 and a half inch burrow, I saw on some uh, velocity uh, charts that the 5.56 five, will come out of this uh, uh, burrow at anywhere, depending on if it's a 35 grain. I went from 35 grain to about 55 grain because once you start getting heavier, the bullets start moving a little slower. You can get anywhere from, what did it say, 24, almost up to like 2,800 feet per second. So you're, you're close, you're in that fragmentation range, right? Um, so you'll be able to do quite a bit of damage, and if they're weighing level 3 body armor, you'll be able to get through it, right? So that's why I started thinking about utilizing this. So I also saw some videos you guys can look up in which 9mm uh, went a little further through drywall, than the uh, 5.56 five, did. And that's because the 5.56 five, is hitting stuff and it's, it's fragging, it's breaking apart versus the 9 mm round is pretty much staying together. So um, I guess it all depends, uh, but looking at the 9 mm out of this 10, 10 and a half inch burrow, typically 9 mm goes about a little over 1,000, maybe 1,100 feet per second through a 5 inch burrow. I looked at some velocity charts for a 10 and a half inch um, AR9 pistol. And they were getting velocities anywhere from like 1150 for 115 grain upwards to like 13, 14 feet per second. But when you went to plus P, there was a plus P round in there that was 115 grain um, on a chart that I saw, 1600 feet per second. That's like 357 Magnum um, um, territory. Now, I like my AR9 because I have a nice limited comp on here. Um, it's not super loud to shoot, you know, even when you're shooting indoor range, it's not really blowing your ears out. So that is kind of a pro. But when you're home defense situation, I'm sure that you don't mind sacrificing your hearing slightly to make sure that you stay alive. Now, on the other end, AR-15, 10 and a half inch, loud. Now, it's not that bad with this three and a quarter linear comp on there, but... Um, I've done some shooting, shooting this inside. It's still relatively loud, but nowhere near as loud when I just had the A2 break. When I had A2 break, it was, it was loud. So I can't stand compensators, but this actually helps to mitigate that. When you shoot inside anyway, the blast is going to be way louder than when you're shooting outside. So that's just a, a con that has to come with it. 
but I have a stronger feeling that this will do more damage quicker than the AR9 would. Even though the AR9 has plus P in there, um, and inside of the AR15, I just have 556 55 grain ball ammo. So, guys, it's, it's completely up to you. Um, don't let me try to sway you one way or the other. I like them both. But it just got me thinking that maybe I want to uh, make sure I have a nice 5.56 pistol out just in case, right? Because criminals are getting smarter. And if you have a home defense situation, don't just think it's one person. It could be, but more than likely, it could be more than one person. So keep that in mind. Guys, if you need training, please make sure you reach out to me. DM, DM me, MD underscore radio on Instagram. Don't mind that. The gun fell, but it's okay. It wasn't loaded. <laughs> so DM me on, on MD underscore ready. Um, also, if you need any consultation, feel free to email me. My email is also in my, uh, my bio. Uh, if you need any type of, uh, if any videos that you definitely want to see in the future, DM me again. So uh, thank you so much for the folks who reached out to me via uh, uh, email and DM to let me know. Because guys, things that happen in the comments, um, I may miss them. And um, with that being said, you guys have a great day. In the comment section below, let me know if you prefer to have an AR-9 for a home defense firearm or an AR-15 AR pistol. Or maybe you're like, I don't like either one. I use a shotgun. Or you just say, hey, look, because I'm better with a pistol. So, but we can dive, deep dive into more of that a little later, guys. God bless you guys. And